Kensington and Adams Ave. So across the street from Hooker Park at Kensington and Adams Ave stands the Worrell Winter House. Probably from the 1713, 1718 era. About a year ago, I was driving down this street. And when I was driving, I saw that house. And I said to myself, self, that house looks old. Go look at that house. So I parked my car, and when I when I when I got out of my car, I started talking to myself, like I'm doing right now. And I said to myself, what the hell is this house doing here? This looks like an awfully old house. How old is this house? Where did this house come from? Why is what's the story with this house? I stood outside and I was talking to myself so long. The owner of the property came out to make sure I wasn't a crackhead or anything, and then he starts telling me, oh. This is one of the oldest houses in America. It's uh, it's older than Alfred's Alley. So when I pulled up to this house, it was all boarded up windows. Oh, it was, oh no, the windows weren't boarded up. They were falling apart. Dilapidated windows. Oh me, oh my. This historic building is getting sad. But the building is sad no longer. And today, we are invited guests to take a tour of its very first open house. So let's take a tour of this really old house in Frankfurt. It's like it's right. owner of this house. If there is, now, I don't know where you know, I do my YouTube thing. Oh, yeah. I meet developers all the time. You're the first developer to actually fix something up and not knock it down. So as a Philadelphian, thank you. That was nice of you. Thank you. What, what's the goal? What are, we, what are we doing with this house, Andy? 
Basically, the house uh, by deed is mine, but uh, it's more the American people house. Uh -huh. The house for the American people. It's going to be probably a museum and for visitors and to educate the new generation about uh, the American Revolution and how we get our freedom. I met Andy a year ago. It was YouTube and he didn't know what the hell I was doing. He probably thought I was just a crazy guy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I, like I said, Andy, I, I, I don't know what else to say, but thank you for doing this. It's... It's great to know that people are actually going to know history happened in Frankfurt. Oh, yeah, yeah so. basically, uh, people like Jason from the King's Highway, right? Jess uh, spoke about that. Uh, people thinking that all the story happened in uh, Center City, but the truth is most of the history happened here in Frankfurt right. because it was a, a straight a way, a route to New York, right? And everything happened here, right? So I think we have a credit in Frankfurt for that, and we have to observe and keep the history to teach the young generation uh, to have a better future. I gotta give you a respect. All right, that's my trip. That's my trip to the Warrell Winter House. This is what it looked like 300 years, 1700, 1800, oh no, you don't count 17. 1800, 1900, 300 years old. And a year ago, it looked abandoned. And now, it looks nice, it has nice stores. It looks, I mean, yeah. It looks nice. It doesn't look abandoned anymore. So, Andy, thank you for doing that. And make sure you hit like and subscribe. And I'll sail with you later. Toodles!